Well, guess what? We're on the Garmin website right now, and Garmin just released brand new models for the Drive Smart. Actually, is it the Drive or the Drive Smart? Drive. Nope, Drive Smart. Sorry. 66, 76, and 86. Let me go back a screen or two just to make sure I got that right. Okay, yeah, that's the 65. We know that one with Alexa. That's the same one, I think. Eh. So, yeah, that means the only 5-inch left is the older Drive 52, which is a matte screen. That is not glossy screen. So, we've got 66, 76, and 86, meaning 6-inch, 7-inch, 8-inch. And I believe the resolutions were updated for these. Let's go back to the 65 for a moment. Wrong screen again. Drive smart 65. Okay, the 65. Yeah, that has 1024 by 600, and I believe the 66 has been upgraded to a higher resolution screen. So we'll start there with the 66. 1280 by 720 so now you can get the six inch now it was kind of an interesting the, you'll notice the drive smart 55 not there anymore discontinued still available of course but discontinued um, you can buy that from Amazon eBay wherever but anyway like I said the only five inch now is the 52 and then we go right up to the 66 and with the 1280 by 720 now the funny thing is the 55 had 1280 by 720 the 65 had 1024 by 600 and now the 66 has 1280 by 720 like the 55 did so let's just go over the specs real quick now, i haven't used these personally but that's okay because I can show you a way to sort of kind of see it in use. We'll get to that in a second. Multi-touch glass, six ounce, up to one hour. And they still got, it's only an hour charge. Ugh, it's just the way they are now. Meaning you always got to use it plugged in. Now, navigation features. We got some... The real directions landmark guidance. I actually have not seen that in action. So that's kind of interesting. You've got TripAdvisor in this one. You can do a voice activation on this. It says includes traffic. You get the Bluetooth and driver alerts and smart notifications. It does have Wi Fi. I think they all have Wi Fi. I'll confirm that with all three models. The live services app this one by default does have alexa built in now i don't use that at all that's the amazon thing but they don't even say with alexa it just comes with it now you don't have to use it but it's there if you want it this is uh interesting is that with the alexa stuff you do get the music news and infotainment time management smart home then access to alexa skills and you have iphone and android connectivity and requires Bluetooth, requires cell, yeah, stream media, works with vehicle stereo. This is interesting. Works with vehicle stereo, connect via aux cable sold separately. So that should be under accessories. Let's go look at that real quick. Well, I might as well go through these two. Yes, you can hook up the dash and backup cameras. You've got the BC30 and the BC40 uh all wireless that's the app that's the power adapter carrying case 
Well, this one is actually very nice. is a USB-C vehicle power cable. Now, I don't know if it comes with that by default. That I'm not sure of. But I have received more than a few comments. People saying, why is Garmin still using mini USB? Why can't they use USB-C? Well, there it is. USB-C. I don't know if the charger that comes with it is also USB-C. would be nice if it were. Also, I do not know... Now, if we take a look at this real quick, you've got... I don't know if the traffic stuff is within this or not, or if it's within the unit. Like, I haven't used it, so I don't know. I don't know. So, let's see, USB-C, there's the old mini USB, and there's the A to C, A to C. This, the difference between these two, this is a 0.5 meter, this is 1 meter, and the high-speed multi-charger. They do have the air vent mount. It comes with this bracket, also comes with this bracket, also come, should come with this bracket. Then you get the friction mount and the portable friction mount. I actually have this one. I've actually had all these. Beware of these, by the way. The one with the portable friction mount, let me just bring up a uh, this thing. Now, this looks nice, but I know from personal experience, this the bottom of this, it will mar the dashboards of some cars. Be aware of that. Whereas, I have noticed, at least in my experience, the bean, what's known as a bean bag mount by most people. This one doesn't seem, I've never had it mar a dashboard. I'm not, to, that's not to say it won't, but I know that this guy, the one that's uh, malleable a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to the specs here. Now, it said here connect via aux cable. Okay, I didn't see the, were they referring to the USB-C? Well, you can Bluetooth it, so if you want to Bluetooth it to a stereo, I guess you do that, but it's like, okay, where is that aux cable they were talking about? Let's do a view all. Okay. I'm just going to run through them again just real quick. There's the adapters, cases, cable, there okay, it should be cable and charger. This is power cable, power cable, adapter. A to C, A to C, charger. And that's it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, anyway, we'll go back to the specs. We're still on the 66 here. So, I believe this is similar, similar to the DriveSmart 55. But you'll notice that and I'll get to a bigger image, the, they actually did change the font a little bit. It looks more iPhone-like. A little bit. A little bit. Now, the big deal here, though, is that they finally have... A, they've had 7-inch, but they got the 8-inch version now. Ooh. So let's go to the 7. Okay. So we got this one. Actually, let me go back to the 6, because I should mention this. You got a display size of 5.7 inch wide by 3.2 inch high, but what's more important to pay attention to for the sizing to your car is the physical dimensions. So we got 6 inch by 3.4 inch by 0.7 inch depth. It's thin for sure, but especially if you got a smaller car. Like I can't buy this. This thing is just too big for my car. I can't get it. I'd like to. But that's ultimately why I won't, because this thing's just too darn big for my car. But if you do have a uh, mid-size car to a or mid-size SUV, mid-size crossover, or a full-size vehicle, then uh, the six-inch will totally work. Now let's move on to the seven-inch. Okay. Now we what we have here is a six-point-eight-inch wide. Well, let's do the display size first. Six-inch wide, three-point-five-inch high and 6.8 inch wide by 3.9 inch high. Oh, I should also mention something. I got to go back to the 6 again. Um, I think they actually brought back uh, portrait mode. Oh, was it in this one? One of them does have, one or two of them does, because you'll notice if I go back to the 
just showing them all which one of the, oh they show one of them somewhere that actually does I know the 8 inch they they have the portrait mode on that one I will have to examine that let's go back to automotive cars let's see if I can just get a general overview okay did they show no I'm back on the 52 And on the 65. Well, anyway, let's just go to the 7 inch here. So, specifications here. So, right, 6 inch wide, 3.5 inch high for display, 6.8 inch wide, 3.9 inch high for physical dimensions, but 1024 by 600. So you get a decrease in resolution with the 7 inch compared to the 6. That is just weird. Same battery life. Uh, same specs as the 6, 66, yes. But you get a knockdown with the resolution. Now, will you really notice this? I suppose not. I suppose not. But still you lose resolution by going with a larger screen. If anything, you should gain resolution, but okay. Now let's do the big guy, the 86. Oh, here we go. See this one right here? This one, right, confirmed. This one will do portrait mode, which is great. Does they show this on the 7? Okay, I don't see it on the 7. Did they show it on the 6? I don't see it on the 6, but the 8 absolutely has it. Okay, very good. Now, this, this is giant size. 1280 by 800 resolution. Okay, so this slightly better resolution. Instead of 1280 by 720, you get 1280 by 800. 6.8 inch wide, 4.2 inch high. Physical dimension of 7.6 inch wide, 4.7 inch high. Basically, consider it almost the same size as an 8 inch tablet. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Amazingly, only 0.77 inch depth. I, I love the fact, I, I will give Garmin credit here that they kept it thin. Good. I'm glad they kept it thin. Now, to see these things in action, sort of. You can go to uh, youtube.com slash Garmin, and they did put out several videos. They just literally just did this, like at the time of this recording, did it like a day ago. Um, this one, yeah, this one in particular. Now, I can't show the video because it belongs to Garmin, of course, but the one that says support route planning on the Garmin Drive Smart 667686. Look at that one. You'll see the way the menus work, kind of, sort of. And the rest of them, well, they're okay. And there's a getting started video, but the one where you can actually see a couple of menus going back and forth. And I think this is the only video on the internet that actually shows it. I might be wrong, but I think it's the only one that actually shows it in use. So there's that. And I don't know what model they probably state it. But uh, you, I don't know what model they're showing here, but it is one of the brand new ones. Okay, so let's go back to the, the 66. I'm going to go, where is it? Go to specs, manuals, and we'll do an owner's manual here. And we'll do a PDF download. Okay, here we go. Let's do a search for portrait because I got to know. Okay. Settings display orientation allows you to set portrait vertical or landscape horizontal. Note, this feature is not available in all product models. Okay, but does it say which? And that is the only mention of it in the manual. Mm. Oh, that is a little frustrating. 
Let me just back up a little bit uh, because I'm sorry if I rushed through that. If you want to read the manual for this thing before even um, before buying it, if you want to see it, go to go I'll do it right from scratch because some of you may want to do this. Go to Garmin.com and go to Automotive and then Cars. So again, that was Automotive, Cars, scroll down. Go to the drive series and then pick. We'll just do this six inch. Okay. Now, the manual between the 66, 76, and the 86, it's all the same manual, so it doesn't matter which one you pick here. But I'll just do the 66. Scroll down and then click on specs. And then to the right, you're going to see manuals. And then you get to the owner's manual. Now, they show an online version which is uh, searchable. I actually like the PDF better, so I just click download PDF. It will pipe open a new tab and then you can just start scrolling through. If you use modern Chrome, modern Firefox, modern Edge browser, whatever, it has a built-in PDF reader. You don't need a separate one. And then we can just start going through it. It is 56 page, 55 pages technically. Hmm. Let me see if there's anything in here that sticks out to me before I end this one. So, mounting, pairing, turning the device off, voice features. Driver alert, okay, saving locations, yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing anything too different from other models here. Using the map. Oh, uh, okay, actually, okay, let me just go finish this first. There's the traffic. Using apps. There's the notes here about um, wireless cameras and hooking those up, which is good. Settings, maintenance and troubleshooting and appendix, okay. Now, I can't really play the video. Oop. All right, hold on. Let me just mute this. Get past the ad. Okay. Now, I want to see if I can have it show the actual map here. Because so I can't play the video. I can't do that. Because that would be wrong. Well, it's not wrong, but I'm not supposed to do it. Okay, so this here, well, you can sort, let me see if I can punch up the resolution a little bit. The font is a bit different. The icons are a little bit different. They change the back button a little bit. It's not terribly different. Um, more just kind of a mild refresh, if you will. The color scheme, the uh, theme file appears to be the same. They did change some of the uh, icons here and there, but like I said, the font now looks to be more um, iOS-like, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's not too bad. Let me go to another part here. Okay, there's another one. I'm trying to get the one that actually, they don't have one that shows an exit number which I really wanted to see but couldn't. But anyway, you can check out this video and y you can see, again, more phone-like but still retains the Garmin aesthetic, so to speak. Anyway, let me get off of this. So, anyway, brand new models. Three of them. Just released. Garmin is still in the game. And I'm glad they are. I'm glad they're still making these. I have nothing good nor bad to say about these because I have not used it. Oh, finally, price. Okay, so 66 249, 76 299, 86 349. This does not include the cameras or anything like that, as far as I am aware. I don't think you get, you might, if you're thinking about getting one, um, Bear in mind that 
it's October at the time I record this. So you may see some Black Friday stuff on these. Go to the Garmin website periodically and sometimes they'll knock the price down. You can buy from them direct, by the way. They're not even selling it yet. They're saying estimated availability is like in about you know, a week or two at the, from the time I record this. Um, but check Amazon, check eBay for Black Friday sales. Uh, that is when I would commit and maybe like for this 86, maybe you'll see it for like 299. Maybe they'll knock 50 bucks off of it, which would be nice. 299 for an 86 would be a really good deal actually. Yeah, if they if you could get a 66 for like 199, if they knock 50 bucks off each. Yeah. A 199 for a 66. Yeah. This is 3. Yeah, 249 290. There's a $50 difference between the 66 and the 76. The only one I actually don't like here is the 76 only because you get a knockdown in resolution. This is my only complaint. Is you get a knockdown to 1024 res. Whereas with the 6 and the 8, you get 1287.20 here and 1280 by 800 here. Huh. Well, those are my thoughts on this. So, uh, yeah, brand new. Again, I'm glad Garmin's still in it. And I'm glad they introduced these new models. But, uh, again, wait a little bit before getting it. Might be able to knock 50 bucks. All right, even if it's just 20, 25 bucks. Wait a little bit. The... I'm certain when the Black Friday thing happens for the in November, yeah, these you'll see some discounts on these things.